g r s tax revenues for fiscal year two thousand and eleven we are today projecting will be less than fiscal year two thousand and four revenues so revenues from seven years ago these are indeed historic times in our state and our economy it will require some exceptional partnerships i'm now going to turn the podium over to the governor for some closing remarks just a news alert from the wall street journal um, saying that the u.s entered the recession in december of 2007 according to the official recession watchers at the national bureau of, e of economic research so it is now official um, as as director savity has outlined for us today ohio's economy is mirroring the national economy and is deteriorating, deteriorating rapidly. A 640 million shortfall is now projected for the remainder of the current fiscal year. This is in line with the Office of Budget and Management's recession-based scenario outlined in January of this year, which had forecast at that time a 1.9 billion total budget deficit if our economy fell into recession, which it has. The need to initiate additional spending reductions to balance the current budget will be largely determined by whether considerable state aid is included in the federal government's recovery package and if robust activity occurs in the retail holiday sales. Any further reductions to the current budget will be in addition to the $1.27 billion in budget adjustments which are already underway. Based on current economic revenue indicators, an approximate $7.3 billion deficit is forecast for fiscal year 2010 and 2011. I repeat, based on current economic and revenue forecasts, Ohio will experience approximately $7.3 billion in deficit for 2010 and 2011. Even assuming, even assuming a 10% reduction in all state agency budgets, based on February 2008 recalibrated spending levels. That's after the 733 million was reduced from the original budget. Even if we ask our agencies, all agencies, with the exception of uh, tax relief, uh, debt uh, service, and Medicaid. And we're not saying that those are the things that we're going to do, but we're just giving this to you uh, as uh, an example. If we were to ask all of our state agencies, uh, including education and regents um, and uh, our other agencies, to budget at 10% of uh, current levels, uh, we would still be facing a projected deficit of approximately 4.7% billion dollars. We share this with you and with the people of Ohio because we believe this is the time for all Ohioans to join together in an extraordinary partnership in order to meet the challenges before us. Working together in common purpose, I believe that we can and will address these circumstances and reach a consensus bipartisan budget. There will be shared sacrifice. But we also recognize that historic opportunities lie on the other side of our current economic challenges. And that's why over the next few days, beginning today, I will speak with members of the legislative leadership, with Ohio's uh, public employee union leadership, and with members of the business community. In addition, I will speak to a diverse collection of stakeholders, including Ohio's mayors and county commissioners, 
members of the faith community, the human services and education communities, and others. I've asked my cabinet to begin conversations with all of their stakeholders to consider 2009 cuts, as well as the challenges we will face in the next budget. And I'm asking for and encouraging creativity and flexibility and collaboration while we plan for this future budget. I continue to believe that the best long-term solution is to address these challenges by getting the economy moving again. And as you know, we are pursuing an agenda of job creation through the $1.57 billion bipartisan job stimulus bill and the recently enacted energy bill. And our administration has made significant reductions in the size of state government already, both through proactive efficiency initiatives and in response to declining revenues. Our state's workforce has been reduced from 63,568 employees in March of 07 down to 60,540 employees as of December 1, 2008. In February and again in September, as you know, I acted quickly to implement budget adjustments, plans which totaled $1.27 billion for the biennium. Those actions have included spending reductions, programmatic cuts, and the closure of state institutions. <coughs> Unfortunately, many of these difficult reductions have come at a time when people are relying more than ever on state services. I also believe that a vigorous and aggressive federal economic recovery package must include direct aid to the states, which is essential if we are to avoid the potentially severe effects of the projected budget shortfalls. I am traveling later today to Philadelphia to join with other governors, Republicans, and Democrats as we meet with President-elect Barack Obama in a discussion about the economy's impact on our states. I believe that significant federal aid to our states and a willingness to make tough choices here in Ohio are absolutely necessary to address this crisis in a way that will enable Ohio to continue investing in what matters and to move our economy forward. In addition to meeting with the president-elect, I am sending him a letter today detailing more specifically Ohio's specific needs and suggesting how the federal government can best help our economy recover.